52 of the patients, that's 7.2%, reported persistent symptoms in the follow-up period after taking Accutane. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Team Acne. Today we're going to talk about Accutane and what's gonna happen to you if you take Accutane. Now, on this channel, I have reviewed so many people's videos and quite a few of them end up with saying, you know, my transformation was the result of taking Accutane. And so I think a lot of these people don't really go over the side effects enough. We don't know what's gonna happen when we take Accutane. All we know is that Hopefully it's gonna clear our acne. So we get really excited and we definitely tend to downplay the side effects because it's not necessarily the most exciting parts. Now, by the end of this video, you are gonna know what it is that's going to happen to you when you take Accutane. What are the most likely side effects and what are some less likely, but ones that you should still know side effects. Now, quickly before I go into this video, my story is that I took a long course of Accutane. I experienced a ton of side effects, which I'll go into a little bit more later in the video, but I got off, off of Accutane and then my my acne started coming back. What ended up happening is I needed to make, make a dietary change. So that was, you know, a whole nother video, a whole, whole, whole different story. But I just want to let you know that I have had extremely severe acne and I have taken Accutane. So a lot of this is coming from my own experience. So let's dive into this a little bit. Okay, if you're new to the channel, you don't know this, but if you're an OG, you know I love my science. I love my studies. Of course, it's really important to read the stories of what people have been through and stuff, and that does have weight. But what really, 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 really I love is when there is science when they study a huge group of people. Now, I found this study where they basically list out the most common side effects that they observed in the patients who were given isotretinoin or Accutane. And then they list out some of the less common ones. So quickly, let's look at the most common ones. Okay, on the most common list, we have chelitis, which is 98%. That is dry skin, cracked lips. 98% of people experience that. So pretty much you're gonna experience that. Another one with a high incidence, 65% of people experience dermatitis. This comes in a couple different forms. Basically it's inflammation of the skin, but that comes in like itching of the skin, rashes, redness, dryness, things like that. So skin issues. We have facial erythema, which is 65%. Erythema is the redness, those red marks, the red inflammation of your skin. So you are likely to see even more erythema and redness than before you took Accutane. And people, I think, oftentimes downplay the initial breakout and don't realize how big it's gonna be. And that actually, I feel like, is what leads to a lot of people experiencing depression with their Accutane is because in that first couple of months, your acne is gonna get worse. And that's what you're exactly trying to get rid of. And a lot of people don't know that that's gonna happen. We have epistaxis at 35%. And epistaxis is just nosebleeds. That's pretty common as well. Then we have epidermal atrophy at 25% and we have fragility of skin at 20%. Both of those are pretty much the same thing. Epidermal atrophy is basically a thinning of the layer of the top layer of your skin. So uh, this is something I experienced. Basically, here's a good way to explain it. Like, you know how sometimes when you're in class and you lean against your hand like this for an hour and then you get up and you have kind of a red mark? Well, when I was on Accutane, that red mark wouldn't go away for days. So literally I could like slough off bits of my skin. Basically how you would abrase, get an abrasion on your skin, that would happen just from basic things like leaning against my face. So that's 20, 25% of people experiencing that. And then there's a couple other ones that are pretty obvious, like xerosis actually just means dry skin. This one's interesting though, vestibulitis has 50% incidence rate. Vestibulitis is when you have a burning on the outside of the vagina. So this is one that I also think that people don't talk about very often. And that's crazy, one in two people, that's a lot. So those are the most common side effects. That means that most likely you will experience one or two or a couple of those. I definitely can mark off at least half of those. Uh, but let's go to the less common side effects. I think this is also really important because yeah, sure, maybe it's less common, so it's probably not gonna happen to you, but it could happen. I think people, you know, downplaying it just because it's like a lottery chance that it'll happen to you is, is, is dumb. You should really think about it because, you know, a lot of people will play the lottery with a one in 32 million chance and think that it might happen for them one day. And this is definitely like one in, 
10 or 20 or 30,000 chance. So here, let's read down this. So it says less common, but recognized side effects of Accutane. Achilles tendonitis, so that's your Achilles tendon in the back. Basically inflammation, so pain while you're walking. Acne fulminans, so acne fulminans is a different type of acne. Acne fulminans is a very severe type of acne. Um, it's a lot more of like a darker colored acne. They come in larger patches usually, and they're very crusty on the outside. These tend to mark up after they go away. Way. So yeah, you, you run your Actane course, you get acne fulminans, maybe it goes away, but then it will you usually, most commonly, leave a scar, uh, whether that be hyperpigmentation or like a, a keloid scar, something like that. Then you have scars to deal with as well. This is a very severe side effect. Then we have depression, we have diarrhea. These are things that are actually are pretty common. You know, I says I know it says less common on here, but I have a lot of people who report that they have gone through depression or they have irritability in their bowels or they have diarrhea. And so it's it's something that you definitely have to think about. Headaches, definitely something that I've experienced. A lot of people say that. High tone deafness. So this is one that I didn't experience, but a lot of people deal with some form of deafness from going on Accutane. So that's something to think about as well, especially if you're into music. And then there's a lot of other ones. You got mood changes. Another one is night blindness. So for me, I had extreme sensitivity to the sun, literally, where if I would go out in the daytime, I'd be squinting like this. I'd have to wear sunglasses. I feel like my eyes were burning to the point that even looking at screens that were really bright when it was nighttime, I would be like trying to shield my eyes because your eyes get very, very sensitive. So quickly wanted to go over the severe and less severe side effects with you guys. Okay, now when it comes to mental health and depression, I feel like if you already have mental uh, health issues that you are dealing with, it's definitely something to really think about, you know? Do you wanna exacerbate that? Is it worth, worth it? And the science is kind of hard on this because, you know, depression, I, I think, you know, you can't like really measure depression with a blood test so it's harder to find studies on this but I did find one and this is what it said a more recent controlled case crossover study demonstrated a relative risk for depression of 2.68 percent so an average of 2.68 percent of acne patients exposed to oral isotretinoin or Accutane uh, experience some form of depression and that can come from so many different factors so that's why it's not you know listed all the time and people are think will argue that it's not real or it is real but still that's almost 3%. That's a pretty high number, three in 100 people. That's pretty high. Okay, one more study here. I just gotta run through with you guys. 720 patients had received Accutane over a course of five years they followed up, and then 4.9 years. Um, and they were on an average of 120 to 100, or to 200 milligrams uh, of Accutane per kilogram of body weight. So what they found was that 52 patients, 7.2% reported persistent symptoms during the follow-up period. So basically 7.2% of people experienced side effects even at the basically five year mark. Now these symptoms were predominantly musculoskeletal, 2% of those, and mucocutaneous, 4.8% of those. So basically what that means is that they were having mucocutaneous, so they're having like skin issues, sometimes organ issues, that's a pretty broad term, but musculoskeletal is your muscular system that's attached to your skeletal system, so it can be muscle or bone issues. Now, this is something that I have experience with. My spine definitely has lost mobility and also has a lot more pain, and now we are multiple years, I'd have to think about how long it is, but it's multiple, multiple years since I took Accutane. I still have issues in my elbows and in my knees, so all of my joints and my spine have issues from Accutane and it hasn't gone away. So this is something that I tend to be really cautious with when I tell people about Accutane is that like, you know, if you're an athlete, it's something to really think about. You know, I'm an athlete, I bodybuild, I guess if, you know, it's depending on what you think of bodybuilding, I'd consider it a sport. So I lift six days a week, I run, I do sprints, I do all sorts of, you know, pretty uh, tough stuff on my body. And so I would have rather known this stuff and never took an Accutane. That way I would never have side effects that are holding me back in my lifting. But now I have to be a little cautious. You know, when I squat heavy, I have to think, you know what, is it, are those joints hurting today? Should I not push them past that limit that I used to not think about? So it's definitely something to think about as an athlete. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is sexual dysfunction. This is one of the biggest ones that people talk about when it comes to Accutane. People having sexual dysfunction after taking Accutane. Now the science 
is crazy on this. So in one study that I found, it says during a prospective study to evaluate the efficacy and safety of ice tretinoin and acne, six male patients referred difficulties in maintaining adequate penile erection in association with clinical symptoms of depression. So I can't find it right here, but I think it was 52 people that was in this study had erectile dysfunction. Now that's a pretty high prevalence. That's a lot. That's enough to scare me. You know what I mean? That's woo. But then I found another study that says out of 30,000 people in the UK, um, 72 of them had dysfunction reports. So that's a prevalence of 0.002%. Now I'm not saying that's not anything, but I'm saying that science is everywhere. Some people say it's, it's very common. Some people say it's not common at all. Now I haven't personally experienced any troubles with it at all, but it's definitely something to be aware of. Now, the purpose of this video is I wanted to go over the side effects that are possible, the really common ones, the really uncommon ones, because everything is possible and you should always weigh what the worst possible circumstance could be and if you're gonna be okay with that. I think there's special, you know, exceptions for for athletes, you know, and, and certain people in certain populations that are doing certain things. I think, you know, you gotta think about that. If you're a singer, you know, is it gonna be bad for you? Or if, if you're a model who has to spend time in the sun, is it gonna be bad for you that you can't be out in the sun? Is If you're an athlete, is it gonna be bad for you that possibly you have joint pains, things like that? I think we need to think farther into it and really be sure whether or not we want to take Accutane. Now, I personally think that everybody should use Accutane as the very last resort possible ever. I think if possible, just stay away from it completely until you've exhausted every option possible. But I think a lot of people see these transformation videos and it gets them excited and they just want to go to the dermatologist, run through everything else so that they can get on it as soon as possible and reach clear skin. So I understand that. But I'm just trying to play devil's advocate here and show you the other side of it. So I'm not an Accutane hater, just want you to know the whole story. That being said, if you haven't tried everything that's out there, you should definitely try my new acne program that I just came out with. It's called the Acne Method. I basically took everything I've ever learned over the course of, I think, 13 years now of me dealing with acne. Things that worked, things that didn't work, things that kind of worked, things that made it worse. I took all of it and boiled it down into an easy 10-step method. The things that have helped me the most, my best 10 steps. And then, of course, if you want to get the whole bundle, you have so many extra acne secrets that it unlocks. And I feel like this, for me, if I could have had this 10 years ago, I would have been so stoked. I would have skipped over so many wastes of times. I would have been able to, you know, really maximize the amount of, you know, results that I was getting with what I was putting time into and the amount of effort I was putting into it. So anyways, if you want to check that out, you can definitely check it out. Link in the description below. I'm so proud of this. been working on it for a year. I guarantee you are going to love it. So check that out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me know about your side effects if you've taken in the comments below. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Remember, you are not alone. You are beautiful. And you're part of Team Acne. I'll see you skin bosses in the very next video.